Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brapton with the Epic Awesome episode of the Unboxing Authority Liberate BitShoot YouTube channel. On this episode, I have an amazing MP3 player here. A lot of apps that can do a lot of amazing things, not just play music. So that's pretty cool. It's got a big speaker and it does FM radio, all kinds of crazy things. So we're gonna check this out today. Let's get it open. I'm gonna be loading some music I got here, it's new for me. Uh, we got Wow Worship 2000, which is an orange uh, disc, and this is the Wow Worship 2000, even though it doesn't say 2000 on it. And I ended up getting this with it, uh, the actual Wow 2000 for that year came with it. And so this is good music, I'm gonna be loading on there. I'd use Sound Juicer to get the music off here because uh, one of these is a data disk that tries to sell you an internet service that filters out bad stuff on the internet. So when I put it in my computer, I didn't want to rip the music until I said I'd use Sound Juicer. So I did, and it ripped those in AUG. Uh, Sound Juicer didn't give me any options. I don't know if this can understand AUG or if it's just MP3. We've got a thing here. Now this does play movies you know, on this tiny screen. Now maybe you just want to hear the music, maybe it's a music video or something, but you can do that. And if you want to put all your movies, your music, your stuff on a device like this from DVDs or whatever, uh, go ahead and get WinX software down the link in the description of this video. you find WinX DVD Ripper and there's a WinX DVD, I think, video converter or whatever. Uh, go check out those videos I have. If you run Windows, you can use those to convert your videos so you can put them on something like this. Are you tired of trying to play optical DVDs on your cell phone, MP4 players, car stereos that don't have optical disk drives? Well, I've got the software for you. WinX Software. With WinX DVD Ripper Platinum, you can convert any DVD into any type of file for pretty much any device that you have and play it without having an optical drive on that device. All you need is a computer with a DVD drive or you can buy an external DVD drive and you'll have your files playing on your MP4 devices in no time. So what are you waiting for? Go down to the video description and get WinX DVD Ripper Platinum today. So what do we have here? We have our armband. I almost forgot about that. That's an awesome thing because if you're listening to music or you just want to be able to look at the thing, whatever, you can put this on your arm like a watch. Oh my goodness, I've got a smart watch and I don't have to turn on the Bluetooth, I don't think. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see if it turns on really quick. The on, oh, power button's on the top. Okay, top button's the power button, the volume buttons are down below. Now if I'm correct about this, this has 32 gigabytes of built-in information. And yes, it did just time out, and I think it was showing information like a smartwatch, so that's cool, or a phone. Okay, so here we go. We got two screens. We got a folder browser, sweet. We got a stopwatch, a smartwatch. Check that out, because we wear this on our arm. Oh my goodness. We got our alarms here. We got our themes, so we can change to different themes. Look at that. Look at that. Just like a smartwatch, you can change your uh, the theme. Now, I think black is probably going to be the easiest to read, so we might stick with black there. We have settings. We can go in here and change settings. The languages. Now let's see if we go over here, we've got display settings. So we change display settings. We've got a shutdown setting for power manager, whatever. We've got date and time, just like a watch. Look at that. We can set it from here without Bluetooth, can't we? Time settings. Let's go here. Set time format. Set the time. Oh my goodness, we can set the time. We don't have to Bluetooth this with anything. We can set the time to smartwatch without Bluetooth. I mean, we, we can Bluetooth, but it's optional, so that's cool. I think that's the way it works. We're going to go ahead and set our time, but this is in 24-hour format here. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to change the format. So let's go ahead and change it to 12 hours, and then set the time. All right, sweet deal. There, it doesn't like my fingers today. Nothing likes my fingers today, but look at that, 5.32 p.m., we're making progress. Let's go to the date. Year, month, day. Month, day, year. I guess we'll do it that way. So year is gonna be 21. It's the sixth month, I think. The 17th. Let's go ahead and change it to 17. There we go. Okay, back, back, back. Back. Back, back, back. So now we can turn the speaker on or off. Let's go ahead and make sure it's on. 
Sweet deal information about the device. We disk space. It says we have 32 gigabytes of space, so sweet deal. We can load this up. Uh, let's see if we can get anything else out of this. We have format device, factory settings, language, display settings. We'll check our display settings. We can change brightness, backlight timer, and screensaver. So all kinds of interesting things there. Okay, so we got backlight timer. So it's down for 30 seconds. Apparently that's that's okay with me. So I'll go back. And there's a screensaver. Clock mode 3 is fine. So we're going to go back over here to our other screen. And look at this. So we got music, video, photos, FM radio, Bluetooth if we want to turn Bluetooth on. Ebook, we can read books on here, possibly PDFs, I don't know. Recording, you can record stuff from here. You can do a pedometer for walking, for your fitness and all that, just like a smartwatch. And you got your calendar here, which is what I'm interested in, because I can set all my appointments here, I believe. Let's uh, go ahead and hit a day, and uh, let's, let's see if we can set that day. Can we do it? Can we put an appointment on here? Maybe not. I don't know. But we do have a calendar. So I don't know if we can set any appointments on here, but we do have a calendar. So. I'm going to have to go load my music and videos and stuff on here. And there you go. There's number two. So we got our time and our date right there. Bluetooth is off. This is a great smartwatch alternative. I'm so sold on this already. There we go. There's your smartwatch right there. You got everything there. You can play music on here. You can do everything. You got a big display too, so you can see what time it is and everything. And you can just look at the screensaver and see what time it is. That's pretty awesome right there. I don't know if we can set appointments though. So we'll have to read the instructions and learn more about this device, load stuff onto it. But so far, I'm very excited with what it can do. And you can wear it on your arm, similarly to how you wear a watch. So that's pretty cool. All right, well, even though it was advertised as playing MP4 video files, uh, the only thing I could find out that would play is AVI, but that's okay because we have a sponsored product that we're going to use to convert it into AVI, and that is WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe, which I have a whole video on on my YouTube channel. This wonderful program can download and convert videos from just about any website, but today... We already have some files downloaded from YouTube that are my YouTube channel that I own. So I'm just going to select video here and I'm going to find, uh, we could we could do any file we want to. There it is. And I'm going to hit open. And now the issue here is we have to get this into an AVI format in low quality for this specific device. So we're going to go to PC general video. We're going to scroll down to AVI and we're going to go to low quality and fast. We're going to get OK. And so here it goes. It is done that quick. I didn't speed that up. Okay, that video file is about three seconds long. So here it is. And now let's see how small this file is now. It's only 4.39 megabytes. So we're going to go ahead and copy it and we'll see. Let's make sure it's an AVI, of course. Yep, AVI file. So we're going to go ahead and copy this onto our uh, MP3 player and put it right here. And we'll go ahead and delete the other MP4 file that did not play. And we're going to go ahead and convert that one into an AVI file too using our deluxe software. So I'll go ahead and click on this film again that I downloaded from the internet. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing again. We're going to say uh, PC General Video, AVI, low fast quality. And this video is 37 minutes and 40 seconds long in full HD. So we're going to go ahead and hit run. All jobs have been completed. All right. So let's go ahead and see if that will play back now. All right. So despite putting this in AVI format, the stock video on here is the only one that wants to play on here right now. I can get pictures to display on here just fine on this MP3 player. So I am able to get some JPEG. I've been told that bitmaps will work on here, some other formats, but it doesn't like PNG. All right, so here's the answers I got on this. They say it will open JPEG, BIMP, and GIF will work on here also. In order to shuffle songs, you need to go to the repeat menu. Now, the easy way to do playlists on this is just to create a folder with the songs in it that you want. That's the easiest way to make a playlist on here. Okay, so what you got to do here is you got to hit this little guy here. There we go. Okay, hit repeat. 
Then you go down, you can shuffle. So it does have a shuffle function. That works just fine. Plays music. The speaker is up here. Down here is the micro SD expansion port and your charging port and your headphone port, which is also the FM antenna. So according to the people on Amazon that answered me, it's supposed to play MP3, WMA, APE, WAV, FLAC, and AUG files, but not um, necessarily MP4 video files. All right, so we are testing the FM radio functionality of this device. It is working. And I'll show you. So I'm going to go back. So right here what we're going to do is we're going to push the FM radio button right there. It's going into FM radio. I'm going to go to stations. I already had to auto-tune the stations. So if find 89.1, which I'm transmitting on with my FM transmitter. All right, I got it working now. I had to plug my cell phone into the FM transmitter so there was enough load on the power supply so it would stay on. Okay, so here we go. Put these headphones on the microphone now so you can hear it. That's these guys playing Technoax over an FM transmitter I have for your car. I Bluetooth it with my phone to send the audio over the airwaves so this thing can pick them up. And the strangest thing about this is it's using these as the antenna to pick up the FM signal and then it's sending the audio back over the wires into the headphones um, just using the same wires. So it's kind of interesting. Now the ebook reader on here will read ebooks but only in TXT format, not PDF, not any other ebook format that I know of, just .txt files. So if I go ahead and open the one that's on here called One Real Man. There you go. It's about two pages long. This uh, thing, if I can, let's see if I can get to page two. Page two, I swiped up. I'm on page two of One Real Man. So it will uh, display text files that way. You could put your whole contacts list in there for everybody that you wanted to talk to or whatever, but it's only text. And you have to have JPEGs that are formatted correctly. You have to have special formatting, then they'll work on this device. It does have a built in pedometer. I don't know if it works. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. So right here is the pedometer. Let's go ahead and just shake it, I guess. Looks like we got a two. Yeah, a two. So. And now it says six. Seven. So for every two thumps, it gives us one count. So yeah, now it's ten. So pedometer definitely works. Now apparently it can record audio. Let's see if that works. We're going to hit recording. We're going to start voice recording. I don't know where the microphone is in this thing. So it says, please wait. We're waiting for the recording session to start. There it goes. And let's see. I get, oh, it's recording right now. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know where the microphone for this thing is. It could be where the speaker is. It could be on the other end where the micro SD chip is. I don't know. Let's hit stop. Now let's see if we can play it. Let's go back. Save recording. Yes. The recording is library. And let's see. Oh, it's recording right now. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know where the microphone for this thing is. It could be where the speaker is. It could be on the other end where the micro SD chip is. I don't know. Let's just, there it goes. So it kind of sounds the same regardless if I was holding it this way or this way, at least in my opinion, sitting here next to it, it sounds the same. So I don't know where the microphone is. It could be deep inside it. It will Bluetooth to my uh, Bluetooth speaker and play it. I've already done that. It works just fine. We did go over the calendar, the photo, the music, the video. It does have the stopwatch. It has different alarms in it. So actually, no, it only seems to have one alarm time right there. So. You can choose alarm volume, alarm music, whatever. So that's really about it. But yeah, if you want to play music on here, the easiest way I've found to do it is to just go to the folder option and either pick a, go to the music folder and either pick a, a folder of an album you have or just create a folder just for a playlist. It's the easiest way, easiest way to make a playlist, easiest way to play back. And you can tell it does have the shuffle, does have repeat, 
has all of the fun functions that a player uh, should have. You can create your own custom playlists on here, but it can be tricky because you do have to navigate to each song and do it. So I'm very happy with this MP3 player. I just wish I could put my calendar date appointments in here. It'd be nice to be able to take a picture with it, like a digital camera, but that's probably going to cost more. Something like a PDA, a newer PDA handheld, and the only ones I've seen like that are barcode scanners. They're big, they're bulky. One really good thing I like about this MP3 player, I thought that the microphone, or sorry, the speaker was very quiet, but when I'm in the shower, this works perfectly for me because I use my cell phone to monitor what's going on out here. So I can hear what's going on out here. I can see what's going on out here to make sure my grandma's okay. If I lay this down on maximum volume in the bathroom while I'm taking a shower, I can hear this just fine. It doesn't overpower the phone. And I mean, maybe if I had a heater running or a hairdryer, I may not be able to hear it. So if there's no background noise, I can hear this just fine in the bathroom while I'm taking a shower. I don't know how waterproof it'd be in that bag that they sent for it for your arm because it's got uh, some holes in it for the microphone and the USB charger. There's like one in both sides in the bottom. So you could technically charge it and plug. I don't think know if that's the intention, like to charge it while it's on your arm, but you could. And again, you can put 120 gigabytes of, of micro SD in here to expand your audio media library. And once you figure out what codecs this thing actually likes for video and pictures and things like that, you could easily put music videos on here and that sort of thing. With my limited amount of time being able to make a video for this, which has actually been a few days, I uh, was not able to get a video that I've converted to play on here yet. All in all, it's pretty good though, and I like it for what it is and what it does, and I will probably be using this on a regular basis to listen to music when I'm in the shower. Another thing, if you don't want to wear a smartwatch that's Bluetoothing all the time or anything like that, you could easily put this on your arm in the provided device that it has for wearing it, and you would be able to read the time. You could put it on here like this, and you'd be able to look at it and read the time without you know, too much difficulty and you don't have to Bluetooth it with anything. The battery life seems to be really good. I haven't seen it run down yet. Um, I tried leaving this on for two or three days and listening to the music. Yes, I have had it for a while, but I've only invested like maybe two or three days into making a video for it. I, I've left this on. I have not seen the battery level go down at all, at least on the battery level indicator. So to me, that means you could probably, I don't know about like if you listen to it 24 seven or whatever, but you could probably get away with using this for several days without recharging it. Although I would recharge it every night because that just works well, I think. And you guys let me know what you think in the comments, but I think it's, it's good for knowing the time, listening to music on, you know, MP3, AUG, or, well, it's supposed to work on AUG, I don't know if it does. Or if you want to listen to FM radio or, you know, check the calendar date, maybe look at some pictures, read some text you've saved, record audio for later. You know, the notes, you can take notes with this, audio notes, and listen to them later. So, a lot of good features. I really love, of course, that you can browse the files on here and put them anywhere you want on the device. All right, well, thanks so much for watching the video. Please check out the sponsors in the video like WinX. WinX software, they have a DVD ripper and they have a video downloader and converter. You can download videos from like every website on the internet like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, wherever. Just make sure you own them. If you own the videos, you have the legal right to them. And, but as you can see, I use it just for converting videos or downloading my own videos off YouTube because believe it or not, I can get original quality videos from YouTube with this WinX software. Not the DVD converter, but the other one, okay? With the converter because if I were to go to my log into my YouTube account and try to download those videos it would let me uh, download them in a compressed HD format uh, mp4 HD but not 4k this WinX video converter will let me download them in their original format that uh, YouTube has them in the highest format they have them in which is awesome thanks again for watching and God bless you do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty one true God if you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audiobook, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. Wake up! The revolution has begun! It's time for an insurrection.
Now you're playing with power. Super power. the game now what happens bonus and oh we get to see the credits okay i am the commander commander of the armies <laughs> 